before we go, we we'll need to quickly go back to Joke Adesa. Can you hear me? Uh, quickly bring us up to speed with regards to the sorting and counting we were speaking of earlier on. Yes, in most of uh, the polling units in Duse, where we monitored in the latter part of the day, uh, most of them were done with sorting and counting before we left. And so they had proceeded to uh, the ward level from where they are now also moved to local government and then to uh, the state coalition center, which is the final point of call. So that's much is, is what is happening now as we speak here in Dutse. Uh, earlier in the day, we were uh, all I mean, on the on the road from here through Kangire to uh, Kudu and Bamaina. We were able to uh, monitor this, the, the election and we can uh, confirm that from uh, across all uh, the polling units that we were able to, uh, to visit, there was early, arri the early arrival of the uh, materials as well as uh, the officials. And so even many of the voters attested to that fact. I think uh, from even the candidates uh, were also, uh, they were able to commend INEC for, uh, for, 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 for attaining that feat. But here in Jigawa, there were pockets of uh, violence, uh, ballot box snatching and, uh, and some other stuff. Uh, I think that uh, is being played down by uh, the security officials as well as uh, maybe some party agents. Why are they playing it down? Jocke, can you hear me? Are you there? The and not tomorrow morning, the result will be, I mean, we have, we have we'll been seeing figures, but by tomorrow morning, we'll be able to uh, get to INEC to also begin uh, to see the coalition exercise commence, and uh, maybe in, 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 in 24 hours or less, we'll, we'll be able to, I mean, know who yeah. the winner will be. Uh, we have state houses of assembly, uh, and we also have at the governorship election. So I'm sure the residents those that have voted are eager to see who, at the end of it all, uh, will uh, uh, win their votes and will be their uh, governor and members of the State House of Assembly in the next four years. All right. The one quick question I'd like for you to perhaps speak to is uh, the matter of uh, voter turnout. Uh, we've been asking a majority of our correspondents and they're saying there's been low voter turnout. Was it the same in Jigawa? Well, in Jigawa, if you recall, in the last general election, in the last presidential and national assembly election, uh, the turnout was fairly okay. And so, and in, in the rating that eventually came, the state came third in terms of a, a voter turnout. Mm. You had uh, I mean, registered voters of about 2.3 million and two, about 2.28 uh, million uh, uh, voters collected their PVCs, leaving, leaving just about 50 1,000 uncollected. And so from this figure, uh, by the time uh, this assessment was made, it came third nationwide as a, uh, in terms of a voter turnout. And so that for the state was a commendation, was, I mean, a, 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 a very good uh, feat that has been achieved. But right. when you compare these figures, we don't have the figure of those that have come out for this election in particular uh, right. as we speak. But when you compare what we have, uh, even with the so-called high, the, the high rate, uh, the, 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 the rated states to, mm. I mean, on the, on the, on the, on the high side, mm. you realize that we, we are in a country where, yes, okay. we have about 87 million, 7.2 okay. million we... uh, collected voters. All right. We have Hello. to leave things here now, but thank you. We'll definitely get back to you to bring us more details from Jigawa. Thank you very much. Well,